Hello everybody, Mr Mobs here and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm doing something slightly different. Um, I don't normally talk about um, products or accessories or anything like that on the channel, but there is something, um, a problem that I've been facing with the um, Quest 3 um, and I thought it was probably worth a mention just in case any of you other guys are looking to uh, pick up a facial interface. Um, so basically I've got the Quest 3 and I've got the official Meta doc now i know straight away not all of you are going to be fans of the official uh, meta products um, there's lots of alternative solutions out there as far as docs facial interfaces and all that kind of stuff so anyway, i've got the official doc i also um, bought the official um, facial interface because the stock one that it comes with is quite comfortable but it it's in like it, like a foamy type of material um, and when you're playing um, some some kind of more active games and that you tend to sweat I didn't like the way the foam kind of soaked in the sweat I think it's not particularly very hygienic so I bought the official um, meta facial interface which is this one here um, but what I find with this one is yeah it's really easy to clean but when you play it kind of after a while it sticks to your face and then when you take off the headset it feels like peeling a layer of your skin off so um not really a fan of that one either now um past headsets that i've had i've had the kind of uh pleather kind of style um facial interface and that that's actually the one that, that's my preference so the kind of soft um one and up until now i've been using um what's it called vr vr cover i think they're called um but they they don't seem to have done a Quest 3 one that's a proper kind of clip-on one. So they do ones that um, strap over the top of the facial interface, but they don't do an actual separate unit like they used to do for the Quest 2. Or I've not been able to find one yet. I don't know if they've got one planned. Um, so anyway, I thought, right, that's fine. So I went on online, um, did a bit more research, bought a Bobo VR one when they released it. Um, in fact, um, sorry, not Bobo VR, AMVR, sorry, my bad, AMVR. Um, bought that on the day of release. It arrived, um, really excited, put it on the Quest, really comfortable, felt great. Yeah, exactly what I want. Um, came to use the charging dock and it wouldn't quite sit on the dock right. So I know the dock can be a bit fiddly anyway. So you've got the contact points at the bottom of the Quest 3 here these three little dots and they've got to be making contact on the dot on the dock so sometimes depending on how you've got your head strap if it's not sitting exactly right it, it doesn't make contact and I get that it's always been the case with the dock it's something you just got to kind of suck up and deal with but with the um, AMVR facial interface the nose piece on the plastic was ever so slightly raised. So what it did is when I'll, I'll try and add some pictures to, to this video, but when you sit the uh, headset down, I've, I've not got the strap on properly, so I can't hold it right. But when you sit it down on the dock, because there's a slightly raised piece there, it meant it was st stopping the contact from, from touching the one on the dock, so it'd stop it from charging. So um, I had a refund from AMVR. They were quite quick on the whole refund process. They were good about it. Um, I joined their support chat, which is on WhatsApp, which is pretty weird. But anyway, joined their support chat, said, you know, have you got any plans on making a compatible version for the dock? Because I really want one. They said, yeah, it should be out, out around about April sort of time. Great. April came, messaged them on the chat. Is the interface... Um, compatible with a dock now they said yeah that it is uh, placed another order the order came put it on wasn't compatible with a dock went back on chat they said oh sorry you know we mistook your your question which I don't know how they did that but they did um, and again they refunded me so kind of gave up with that idea and um, they said that they're still planning on doing it but it's been delayed thought yeah well fair enough whatever um, then a week or so back probably a little bit longer I saw some adverts go up for the Kiwi Design facial interface. So um, ask the same question, is it compatible? I was told it was. Um, so I've, I've gone and bought it. It's arrived today. It took quite a while to arrive. I think it's come from China. Um, and sorry, it didn't arrive today. That's a total lie. It arrived a couple of days ago. 
got around to fix fitting it on today. Um, first thing I tried was putting it on the dock, and guess what? It's not compatible. Um, same same issue. It's it's all to do with this nose piece. Like I said, I will put some photos on the screen so you'll be able to see in close up. But the nose piece, um, it's it's barely any different to the official one, um, but it's enough. So when they're designing these. It's a shame. I mean, okay, I know they've probably got their their own docking solution, so they probably don't care too much about the Meta Dock. But the Meta Dock is an official product. You'd expect, um, you know, for a bit of kind of quality assurance that they would test official products to make sure it's all compatible. Um, I do really like. You could say, oh well, yeah, get rid of the Meta Dock. I do really like the Meta Dock. It, it charges. I've got a forty five watt charger, um, so it charges it fairly quick. Also charges the um the controllers as well i like the design of it um i've bought it i've had it since day one so i'm out of the kind of refund time as well i do like it i don't really want to get it back so so I, all i want is a, a facial interface that isn't made of this horrible kind of rubbery material one that's a pleather that's compatible with a dock the only one that i am uh, aware of i mean there's all the like, weird like budget makes and stuff like that but the only kind of of a proper branded one that I'm aware of that I haven't tried is the Razer um, facial interface. Um, but that's like, I think about 69 99 70 pounds. Uh, I've just missed out on the Amazon uh, Prime deals as well, the Prime Day. I should have looked on Amazon. I'm annoyed about that. Um, but yeah, that's the only one. And I don't want to spend 70 pounds on a facial interface. Um, but I'd be curious if any of you guys have got it. Um, and whether it is compatible with the dock or if you've got the dock and you've got you know of any facial interface um, that's a clip on one it needs to have the plastic I'd like to have I, I feel like I'm being fussy now but not a big ask is it um, one that works so yeah I'm looking for the the pleather style the soft pleather style um, facial interface with would be nice to have the vents because it gets really warm in there as well as I'm sure you guys know again. So yeah, it'd be great to have the vents in there to just help with airflow a little bit. Um, but anyway, that's it. So, I mean, if you haven't got the dock, I'd say uh, AMVR or Kiwi Design, they're both really comfortable, right? So if you haven't got a dock, then it's not an issue, then crack on, you know, you, you're gonna be happy with your purchase. But if you do have the official dock, Unfortunately, neither of these two will be an option for you if you want to carry on using the dock. Um, so anyway, it's a bit frustrating for me and I wanted to save you guys a bit of time and effort and possibly money. So now I need to try and get a refund for this one. Okay, cheers. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good day.